Today's video is going to be all about glutes. How to get your butt bigger in the gym. Now before I give you my tips and show you guys the exercises and all that good stuff, you have to eat right. What I mean by eat right, you have to eat healthy. You have to be in a calorie deficit and you have to have a regular bowel movement. It probably don't seem like it goes together, it does. It does. And if you're not having a regular bad woman, I have a video already talking about that. But long story short is fiber. You need fiber daily if you're not having a bowel movement every day. So we got the nutrition, we got that all out the way. Now, let's talk about workouts. If you want your butt to get bigger, shapely, you have to lift weights. The heavier you lift, the bigger it will appear. Okay? You got it? <laughs> so, let's go to the gym. We we'll put this hair up. Yes, I work out my natural hair. I should show you guys what I do to take care to take care of my hair. I'm gonna do that in a different video. But today's all about lower body and the glutes. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do at the gym. And I wanna add this: when you're losing weight, you're gonna lose weight everywhere on your body. Okay. So if you want your thick thighs and thick butt. That will go away, especially if you're doing cardio. So you have to bring it up. That makes sense, right? So when you lose weight, <laughs> okay, let me rephrase. So when you're losing weight, you're in calorie deficit, you're trying to shed some pounds, you're going to lose weight everywhere on your body. So for instance, if you want your thighs to, to stay thick, you're going to lose weight anyway in there, but you're going to have to do leg exercises to make it thicker if that's your goal. That makes sense, right? All right, let's go to the gym. It's getting late. For my workout, I always like to do cardio and the treadmill is like my go-to. I do a high incline at a slow pace. Like I like to walk, like a fast-paced walk. I do not like to run. And when you do a high incline, when I mean your legs and your butt will be burning, and that's a good sign. So make sure you're doing a high incline. You want your you want your heart rate to be at a nice pace. So we're gonna do the first exercise. It's this hip adapter. Now, there's two machines. There's one for your glutes and then one for your inner thigh and we want to train our inner thighs as well we want the illusion of a bigger butt and unfortunately i did not record it because there was someone waiting for the machine and i got a little nervous <laughs> usually i don't get nervous but she started rolling her eyes and all that so i didn't film that but you guys get the gist of it and make sure that you're not leaning on the bench on the back of the bench if that makes sense you want to be at the edge Remember that. I found the perfect squat and it's literally, don't think about it. You know what I mean? Like when you're lowering your body, just don't think, just just lower it. <laughs> and I feel like that's the perfect way to do a squat. I know a lot of people do it wrong and they end up hurting their back and they try and poke up their booty, trying to look all cute. But to do the perfect squat is just to drop low. Trust me, try it and you'll see a difference. You'll feel a difference and all that good stuff. And also you can do sumo squats as well. I'm doing three sets of 12. Each exercise that I'm showing you guys is three sets of 12. Now this exercise is one of my favorites as well. I'm lifting 50 pounds. That's why you see me struggling a little bit. And like I said, when you want your butt to get bigger, you need to lift heavier. But I don't really want my butt to be bigger. But for the purpose of this tutorial... And the exercise that I'm just doing is it's called RDLs. And well, this one's this actually is helping my upper body right here. But the RDLs is gonna help your glutes. So that's it on my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.